Well, now that you know everything you're seeing on your screen, only thing left to do is make a song. Luckily, I have one that I've been working on for a while, so let's get into it. So, for the bass of my track, I wanted to use this loop that sounded Middle Eastern. So, click here, went to world and genre, and looked around a bit until I found this. So, I dragged and dropped them onto my timeline and chopped them up a bit, and it sounds like this. I also like this little pad loop, so I use this too. Standard tempo is 120, so I decided to up it a little bit to fit the vision I had. I wanted to make my own bass riff, so I chose Liverpool bass, messed around with the musical keyboard using Command K, so I came up with this little number. Now that it was recorded, I can play it back, and it sounds like this. Next, I wanted to add a drummer track, so I chose Logan and chose this beat preset. It's called AM Gold. I chose this because it was a bit slower, and I vibed with it. I added more fills, messed with the hi-hats and percussions, and voila! After this, I wanted to add my voice. Uh, keep in mind that I am not a professional, but this is what I came up with. And that just looped over and over. I did this by adding an audio track. So, isolate the sound, and as you can see, it's already picking up my voice. So, I click record, and it automatically added it to the timeline. Pretty convenient. And from then on, I kept with the same structure, but just built on it a little bit. At this point in the song, I changed the time signature up a little bit. So, isolate this, and I mix up the string chops just to add progression. Another thing I did was copy this bass riff and pasted it on another sound, this one being a synth. So, here's what this one sounds like. As you can see, it's the same as the bass riff, but just applied to a different instrument. As you can see, I freestyled a little bit towards the end, and I came out with this final product. Another thing that I wanted to add it, that I mentioned in the beginning, GarageBand can also be a pretty decent audio editing tool. As you can see, it's already picking up my voice, so click record, and there it goes. 
picking up my voice, and I can do the same thing that I can do with all the audio tracks. Edit it, copy it, paste it, and all that cool stuff. Well, thanks for sticking around. That's pretty much the basics of GarageBand. Obviously, there's a lot more that you can know, but it's better to learn that stuff by yourself. So with that, peace out.